LDM2 Learning Delivery Modalities 2, Module 2, Teacher 2 of Science Department. Most Essential Learning Competencies, The MELKS. Lesson 1, Background, Rationale, and Development of MELKS, Activity 1. The closure of schools around the world due to the global pandemic posed serious challenges on the delivery of quality basic education. As a teacher, what do you think are the fundamental concerns in terms of curriculum standards that need to be addressed in order to ensure learning continuity? Cite a specific example. Do you think these concerns could be solved by teachers alone? Why or why not? A curriculum standard must be fit to the learners to ensure quality education even we are facing in a difficult time of pandemic. The shortening of the learning competencies has become a huge factor in order for us to deliver the most essential learning competencies to the learners. However, for us to implement and give quality education to the learners, we need the help of the parents, stakeholders, and LGUs for us to implement the learning process. Number 2. Even prior to the spread of COVID-19 that eventually led to the closure of schools nationwide, the congested curriculum has been a perennial problem of teachers and IA 2018. This is perceived to be one of the hindering factors on the poor performance of Filipino learners. Do you agree with this observation? Why or why not? In my own perspective, I totally agree to this. The target of the curriculum is to achieve higher standard of education for the learners. But because of its congested competencies, the learners cannot cope up and understand all the lessons in a short period of time and leads to poor performance at the end of the quarter. Activity number two, familiar, familiarize yourself with the course reading on the development of the MELKS. After going through the document, provide a brief and concise response to the following questions. Question number one, what are the general and specific purpose of the development of the MELKS? MELKS is developed in this difficult time of pandemic or during emergencies to allow the learners to study based on their learning capabilities at their own pace. It ensures quality education by means of different learning modalities. Number two, how does curriculum review aid in the identification of essential learning competencies? The curriculum review by the experts and specialists to provide the identification of gaps, issues, and concerns across grade levels and learning areas. They reach a consensus regarding the improvement that will enhance the learning experience and develop possible solutions to all the concerns in the competencies. Number three, what is the difference between essential learning competencies and desirable learning competencies? The essential learning competencies are defined as what the learners need considered indispensable in the teaching learning process in building the skills to equip the learners for lifelong learning. Desirable learning competencies is all about what may enhance the education but may not necessary in building foundational skills. How were the most essential learning competencies identified? What were the decisions made in order to trim down the number of the essential learning competencies further? The most essential learning competencies were reviewed by the experts following the list of issues and concerns across learning areas and grade level. They decided which among the competencies are deemed most important, especially that there are a limited number of school days and face-to-face -face classes are impossible at this time of pandemic. Number 5. What is the importance of the MELKS in ensuring the delivery of quality instruction? Most essential learning competencies are very important for both learners and teachers because even though there's no face-to-face -face classes, the learners get the necessary competencies that they need to learn. On the other hand, it is also serve as a reference in preparing the weekly home learning plan, modules, worksheets, and other learning materials for the learners. Activity number three, prepare a copy of your learning area's original K-12 curriculum guide and corresponding list of MELKS. Go to the sections of the curriculum guide and MELKS that are relevant to your instructional needs. Copy and accomplish the following table in your study notebook and compare the two documents to determine which learning competencies were retained, 
drop or merge. K-12 learning competencies melts, merge, clustered, retain, and drop. Activity number 4. In your last session, discuss and share your answers to activities 1 to 3 in this lesson. Discuss any questions about the melts that need clarification as well. Share your thoughts and let your co-teachers articulate their insights regarding your questions. Chat down all the insights shared in the discussion, including your own, in your study notebook. Lesson 2. Unpacking and Combining Max into Learning Objectives Activity number 1. Familiarize yourself with the course reading on unpacking and combining the max. After reading the document, provide a brief and concise response to the following guide questions in your study notebook. What is the importance of unpacking and combining the max? The importance of unpacking and combining the max is that it intends to deliver quality instructions for quality education. Even in this difficult time of pandemic, where in face-to-face -face classes are impossible and shortening of the school year. What considerations must be taken in unpacking and combining the max? Explain each. In unpacking the max, we need to consider the following. Alignment of the content and performance standards. The max are not a departure from a standards-based design, which is one of the main features of the K-12 curriculum. In fact, there are no max without the content and performance standards. Prerequisite knowledge and skills, it is worth noting that the identified MILKs cater to higher order cognitive demands. As such, lower cognitive demand may be considered first in creating learning objectives. This ensures that prerequisite knowledge and skills that will enable the achievement of MILKs and eventually the content and performance standards are addressed. Logical sequence of learning objectives since the intention of unpacking the MEX is to provide systematic learning experiences for learners, it is incumbent that the unpack learning objectives follow a logical sequence. Number 3. Do all the max need to be unpacked or combined? Why or why not? For me, yes. Because it's up to the teachers on how she will deliver the lesson as long as the content and the standards are attained. Activity number 2. Form a group of 4 members within your lock, preferably with fellow teachers in your respective learning area. Using the curriculum guide and a list of the max, choose max in the first quarter and unpack this into learning objectives. Each team will present their unpack learning objectives. Discussion and process processing will follow each presentation. Suggestions and insights from each group will be considered in enhancing the learning objectives. Sharing of insights about the K-12 curriculum guide and MELX. MELX and sample learning objectives. Enumerate the components of a scientific investigation. Learning objectives, identifying, labeling, and explaining the components of the scientific method. Provide appropriate hypotheses for given science problems and COVID-19 virus. Recognize that substances are classified into elements and compounds. Discuss the elements, their origin and composition using the periodic table of elements. Classify elements and compounds based on the amount of atoms and its kind as well as elements forming into compounds and examine the things you see in your house and their components as element or compound. Activity number three, submit your activity to outputs to your LAC leader. Make sure to keep a copy of your outputs. Complete! I am now ready to take the next course, LDM2 module. Here I come!